Soul ties. Soul ties ain't no joke. And once I found out what a soul tie really was, I'm like, you know what? I can't do this no more. So what's a soul tie? Well, if you listen to my poem, I said it in my poem, but I'm going to break it down to you in slow-mo. I'm joking, but check it out. I said, every time I had sex with a woman, that I would be connecting my soul to unknown personalities, unpleasant emotions, unwanted compulsions, convulsions, and explosions. All uh, because I was promoting my sexual desires over God's law of motion. So basically, every time you have sex with somebody, you are connecting yourself to that person. You are becoming one with that person. And not only with that person, but the person they slept with, and the person they slept with, and the person they slept with, and the people they slept with. So now you are entangled, now you are joined to all these different people that you don't even know. And by doing so, you would pick up some strange mental and emotional problems. Like you can be walking by the cat one day and kick the cat around, like where'd that come from? That's that soul tie. See, because now, like I stated, you are connected to all of these different people that you don't even know. So when you have sex with somebody, man, you can be connecting yourself to like mass murderers, man, like rapists and whatever, whatever. And y'all, I can't take that chance no more, man. Because like a soul tie, man, look, it's no longer physical anymore. It is spiritual. And since it is spiritual, guess what you need? You need deliverance. So if you are tired of being entangled with these soul ties, then what I would suggest for you is to go find you somebody who walks in the power and the authority of Christ and ask them to pray for you, play hands on you, and break them soul ties. But you know what? Once you get those soul ties broken, don't go back to it. Yo, for real.